Hey, good morning, and welcome back to this really interesting book, the book of Malachi, the last thing the prophets in the Old Testament said. It's got to be important stuff. We are studying, we are reading devotionally in chapter 3, and today, verse 10. I know this is a familiar passage. Some people, this is the only part of Malachi they know is verses 8, 9, and 10 of chapter 3. Let's go ahead and look at verse 10. Here's what it says. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house, and try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Okay, so we talked yesterday morning about the tithe, returning the tithe, not paying it, returning it, giving offering, and now notice this command, and it is a command. This is not a suggestion. This is a command. Bring, bring most of the tithes. That's not what it says. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and try me now in this. So test me out. Check me out. Let's see. You, you do this and see what I do. That's what God is saying. You do this and watch and see what I'm going to do. But let's talk for a minute about the first part here. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there could be food in my house. So you might remember that in Bible times, it was an agrarian-based economy, you know, fruits and vegetables and, and, and grain, and, you know, more like that. And so when he said, bring all the tithe into the storehouse, of course, the priests were fed out of the tithe. You can go back in Leviticus and read about it. And so this was providing food for the priesthood. This was paying. Now today, what do we do? Today we give a free will offering and we return our tithe. And different denominations and churches are set up in different ways. In my denomination, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, we return our tithe through the church organization, the church structure. And it helps pay for pastoral work and, and Christian work all across the globe. We are in, you know, over 200 countries. I forgot how many countries we're in. There's only 200 and some countries. We're in most of them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No credit to us. It's, it's God's doing. When I return my tithe, because, of course, pastors, we return tithe as well, we are helping to pay for gospel workers in every part of the world, in Peru, in Tibet, in all the different parts of the world, in America and in, in Manitoba. Notice here, we return it, and he says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse. So we want to all be faithful. We want to work together with our own Christian brothers and sisters. There's a system set up so that this tithe can be very carefully uh, audited, monitored, and distributed in the fairest way to really extend the work of God. So we want to be faithful in this, but let's look at the last piece. We have to look at the last piece. Notice the challenge that God gives you here. See if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing, there will not be room to receive it. So God is challenging. He's challenging me. He's challenging you. He's challenging everybody that hears this. Be faithful. Returning. Bring, it says, all the tithe into the storehouse so that my work can accelerate in planet Earth. Bring all the tithe in, and he says, you will see results that you will not be incalculable. You won't be able to understand how amazing it is when the people are just faithful in that which is least. God is, is going to pour out blessings that will be basically beyond description here. He says there won't even be room enough to take it. So, friend, we want God's work to prosper. Let's be faithful. Please you be faithful in your local setting. I be faithful in my local setting. Let's all of us bring all the tithe into the storehouse and then watch and see what God does to extend Christianity across this globe. But then, of course, after that, Jesus is coming so very soon. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help the people to be faithful in returning tithes and offerings in their local church. Extend in this way that you've set it up. Extend this work so that the work can be finished and very soon Jesus can come. And there's a whole bunch of nonsense that we live with every day in this world. It's all going away because we're going to be on a totally new plan as outlined in your word. Bless, we pray in this way. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friend, some commands going on today. Some commands. Not, this is not an Old Testament thing. We could, we could go, if this was our study, if we were using a, a, a topical study, we'd go to the New Testament and find plenty of evidence that, that it was still going on there and intended to extend to the end of time. Drop your excuses. Throw them away. Don't even try. Let's just, let's just be faithful. God will bless you. God be with you today.